Now, I, I know I told you guys I was done making Easter baskets. But I didn't say Easter baskets, though. I said I was done making the Minnie Mouse baskets. Mm-hmm. So, look at this. I just randomly created this basket with the buttons. I was actually downstairs in my supplies looking for some more um, hot glue sticks for the hot glue gun, right? So I already had the basket made. So I saw the all these buttons that I have. And then I just, of course, my creativity started flowing like a, and I, it, it dawned on me. I was like, I've never done this before. So what I need to do is put the button, uh, button, well, Easter baskets, well, the button gift baskets on my uh, Etsy shop now. So what we have here, we have a, um, a dry erase board in the back. The Easter bunny, of course, got the Lisa Frank. I think those are stickers, See, that's like a sticker book. Then we have the lip balm that matches with the bucket perfectly. I always put the two lollipops in the corners of the bucket. I always put them in pops. Okay, then we have a uh, unicorn sugar cookies. Not sure if Riley is going to like those, but they match the basket. And then here's like a little notepad. It, it folds. See? It folds up like a wallet. And then we have a journal. Be happy. Then I, then I got the uh, markers for the dry erase board. I'm not sure if those are dry erase markers. However, they're scented, so I got them. Got the clear egg. I may put another clear egg on the other side. And, oh my gosh, she's gonna love this bucket. If you guys haven't watched all of my um, <clears throat> other 50 million Easter basket making videos this year, I have plenty for you to watch. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because I've, thank you guys for, sub sub for subscribing. I finally hit 1k subscribers so now i can start going live when i make my baskets and um when i paint my nursery decor and stuff i can start creating this stuff on live she is going to love this listen this is going on my etsy shop tonight but instead of easter i'm gonna have to label it um you know just regular birthday baskets or something since easter over it's over sunday but yeah um show you guys then I have this little baby basket steel let me show you guys this so this fell off my wall this is Ryan and Tony at Disney World I'm using my hot glue gun to put that back on the wall I have like a whole collage I forgot what this company was um I'm also an actress guy so I did like a little ad or whatever for this company I'll have to put the link um, in the description but see it just sticks on the back and don't get me wrong they are sturdy this is the first time it fell um, after about four or five months so it's not like they're falling all the time they look like twins on this picture anyway this this video is not about Disney World anyway okay <laughs> so listen I actually have one more Minnie Mouse basket to do. I am tired of Minnie, Lord have mercy. I have that Disney one still, Disney princess that I believe someone is picking up tomorrow. I have this baby one here that someone inquired about, so she may be picking that up tomorrow. And then I have random candy. Still got my Rice Krispie Street. Okay, anyway, back to this. <clears throat> you guys hear Tony back there singing. Hey, Tony, come here. This, this, this is probably one of my cutest baskets this year. Okay, Tony, come tell the people thank you for subscribing because we hit a thousand subscribers. You can say it, they, they can hear you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Say, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, um, yeah. I don't know. It's I oh my I am just so happy I saw those buttons down. And I have a bunch of them too. So I can definitely put this on my Etsy shop. 
I have buttons that'll last me for the rest of this year if, um, if I keep getting these orders. Oh my God, that is so cute. Yeah, so after today, I'm seriously done making bas Easter baskets. I'm serious. So after Easter, like literally what I'm going to do, if you guys loved the Easter basket themes, what I'll do is basically keep the baskets on my Etsy shop and just label them as themed birthday baskets instead of Easter. So, you know, I can still do this, the same baskets without the Easter bunny and the Easter eggs. So they'll just be regular gift baskets. Okay, I just did something else. I just put a bow on it. So this basket is gonna be called, well, this theme, I'm thinking it's gonna be called Buttons and Bows. So I'm gonna have a button and bow theme basket on my Etsy shop by tonight. <laughs> Yeah, so I just, I could put like two more smaller little bows on the side. I think that's enough. Riley is, um, she's nine. So this still, you know, this is still age appropriate. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my bow. Anyway, like and subscribe, guys. Go back and watch all of my other Easter basket videos. I have Mother's Day basket videos, Valentine's Day, every holiday of a basket. It is definitely in my playlist. And subscribe for Mother's Day. I'm going to shop for my own mom. I always um, shop for my mom, my own mom's Mother's Day basket first and then, you know, do that haul and, and then do that basket and then so on and so forth. Then I'll start making the videos of the baskets um, from like my Etsy shop and other people's order so I always start with my mom's first on Father's Day I'll be starting with my daddy's stuff I have to make sure he doesn't watch it he's probably watching right now so if you're listening Mr. Holmes do not watch my Father's Day um, video because I don't want you to see what I got you all right peace out all right so I'm back for the third time okay I, I forgot I had these little scrunchies so I added those on. Now it's really pretty with the bow and the scrunchies. Okay, seriously, by this time. <laughs>